đâu có ai lặn nữa Good morning. Welcome to Collinsville High School and our commencement exercises for the graduating class of 2022. Sure, yeah, right on. I, I am Collinsville High School Principal Daniel Toberman. Before we bring in the graduates, um, the music you have been enjoying has been provided by the Collinsville High School Band under the direction of Mr. Alfredo De Leon and Mr. Nicholas Arnold. During the commencement exercises, we request that you do not come to the platform area in order to take pictures. Furthermore, we appreciate uh, members of the audience remaining seated during the ceremony and recessional in order to honor all the graduates. Lastly, audience members, please silence your cell phones. Thanks for your cooperation with these matters. At this time, would the audience please stand and join me in welcoming the class of 2022.
and gentlemen, the faculty of Collinsville High School. I would ask that the audience remain standing. So Nathan Austin, son of Sherry and Michael Austin, is our Collinsville High School Student Council President. Please help me welcome Nathan to the stage to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Will everybody please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Nathan. Everybody sit down. Amen. Absolutely. <laughs> At this time, we would like to take the opportunity to recognize all of our veterans in the audience, as well as the 2022 graduates who will be entering the service. Would these individuals please stand at this time? Thank you very much for your service to our country. It is now my pleasure to introduce Lucy Montgomery, daughter of Laura and Edward Montgomery. She is the president of the class of 2022. Lucy has the honor of officially welcoming you to the class of 22 um, commencement exercises. Thank you, Mr. Toberman. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome students, friends, family, and faculty to the graduation of the class of 2022 at Collinsville High School. Every one of you here has had an impact in a graduate that is sitting here today. It is strange to think that only four years ago, we were entering this high school as freshmen. Most of us as nervous walking through the halls as I am right now giving this speech. <laughs> freshman year was our only normal year but we learned and adapted to the conditions that were given to us, and we made our own normal. We need to continue pushing forward and embracing all new challenges, not looking back. It's been four very long years, but it's also been four short years. Long because of all the drama, homework and reading assignments, late nights doing a project that's definitely not due the next morning, and all the little trips and stumbles we've had along the way. It's been a short year because of all the lifelong friends we've made, the everlasting memories, and the life lessons that we, will, that we were taught here and will take with us through our entire lives. Now we are leaving this place as seniors and moving on into our adult lives. In this next chapter that begins today, some of us will be going off to college, some of us are joining a branch in the military, and some of us are heading off to trade school. Others will go straight into the workforce, and some will take time off to find themselves. Whatever you choose to do, you will have a major life event happen. And I hope that you remember that you will always have people to lean on who will support you through everything. Through all the good and bad, the long and the short, I am proud to be your class president and I can't wait to see what you all become and what you do with your lives at our 10 year reunion. Congratulations to the class of 2022, thank you. Thank you, Lucy. 
At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished platform guests. We have Mr. Derek Turner, the Director of Technology. Thank you. Mrs. Allie Underwood, Director of Special Education. Mrs. LaToya Barry Coleman, Director of Curriculum and Instruction. Mr. Kevin Robinson, Director of Human Resources. Mr. Brad Heyer, Assistant Superintendent and Director of Student Services. Dr. Brad Skirdich, Superintendent of Schools. Cool. Captain Brenda Holdner, our Alumni Achievement Award winner. Mrs. Jerry Braunbauer, School Board Member. Mrs. Jane Sulke, Secretary of the Board of Education. Dr. Dennis Kraft, Treasurer of the Board of Education. Mr. Gary Piccola, President of the Board of Education. Mrs. Tara Glenn, Special Education Supervisor. Ms. Charlotte Fisher, Assistant Principal here at Council High School. Mr. Terrell Key, Assistant Principal, Council High School. Mr. Robert Wright, Assistant Principal, Council High School. I don't want to miss anybody. And Mr. Mark Shusky, social studies teacher and reader of the names. <laughs> the sponsors for the class of 2022 are Katie Alexander and Michelle Federcheck. I saw them around here somewhere. I now have the honor of introducing the students ranking in the upper 10% of the CHS class of 2022. Please hold your applause until all the students have been introduced. Students receiving summa cum laude recognition include the following. Aiden Kaufman, Megan Holberg, Narielli Cardenas, Catherine Reck, Sydney Summer, Destiny Jones, Anna Falby, Matthew Clark, Maisie Gilliland, James Metcalf, Alyssa Herman, Emma Clark, Rose Scott, Alexander Lorsbach. Ladies and gentlemen, the summa cum laude students of Poundsville High School. <laughs> students receiving magna cum laude recognition include the following. Lillian Valina, Nathan Austin, Cassandra Sterling, Melody Pacewick, William Grebe, Alexis Shellhart, Ricky Murlock, Jake Sebesta, Emma Stouthammer, Zoe Ward, Madison Covey, Melina Huckleberry, Gavin Kuntz, Abigail Fister, Lydia Fluss, Caden Hollerback. Ladies and gentlemen, the Magnum Cum Laude students of Council High School. And the students receiving Cum Laude recognition include the following, Madison Harris, Alex Jakic, Mackenzie Young, Jack Benson, Maya Clark, Grace Lanier, Jacob McChristian, Lucy Montgomery, Alice Knabel, Seth Verstrait, Christopher Tillman, Colin Ogle, Andrew Bikanik, Sarah Shibley, Jordan Trice, Luke Boston, and Chelsea Knott. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kuma Lade students at Collinsville High School. It is now my privilege to introduce our next speaker, Aiden Kaufman, son of Michelle and Sean Kaufman. Aiden earned the honor of presenting the class address based on his tremendous academic performance at Collinsville High School. Please join me in welcome Aiden. I know we have done a lot of clapping already today, but let's give another round of applause for our faculty, friends, and family that have helped us get here today. I'd also like to personally thank those individuals. It is with their help that I was able to spend the last four years of my life doing homework so I can give a three-minute speech to you right now. <laughs> While looking up how to write valedictorian speech, last night, I found out very quickly that Photomath and Grammarly cannot write my speech for me. What's worse, I was utterly distraught to find no Quizlets with a valedictorian speech there. <laughs> so I began searching the interwebs to watch other people who spent four years of their life doing homework give a three-minute speech. They all talked about how the audience should chase their dreams and work hard. So I'm going to do the exact opposite. Once, when I was younger, I was filled with determination. Today is the day I do my own laundry, I thought. I walked out of my room and told my parents, I want to learn, I want to learn how to do the laundry. 
I was ecstatic, ready to prove myself and chase my dreams. My dad replied, Aiden, you gotta grow up. I mean, you can't do your own laundry and you graduate in a week? <laughs> my first thought was, he's kinda got a point. <laughs> but then I thought some more, and I don't think we should have to grow up yet. And no, I'm not just saying that because I don't wanna do the laundry. Well, maybe a little bit, but my point still stands. We've had to fight through a lot, a global pandemic, several near world wars, going weeks without mail because Grace Lanier ran over your mailbox. <laughs> With all we have had to persevere through, it's been very hard for us to be what we are, kids. As a child, I always imagine being here today and getting ready to explore the world. But as we get closer and closer to adulthood, I can't help but want to go back. Instead of coming up with my own original and thought-provoking idea, I'm going to quote someone who's much better at writing than I am. In the song, Time, by Pink Floyd, it says, No one told you when to run, you missed the starting gun. Those lyrics particularly resonate with me because I've spent my whole life fearful for the future. I was scared I would miss the starting gun. Now, though, I feel like I've had a false start. I've spent my entire high school career so focused on the future that I missed the present. There were many nights when my friends were hanging out while I sat in my room and contemplated why I ever signed up for AP English. <laughs> Even though it paid off in some aspects, I often question if it was worth the time. So, I implore you, don't follow in those footsteps. Don't grow up quite yet. Don't do your laundry. Well, please do your laundry. <laughs> but I will end with this. We may be graduating today, but the day's not over. We may be splitting up soon, heading off in the different paths our lives lead, but we're still here now. We may have to grow up eventually, but we don't have to yet. The real world is approaching us fast, and I know we'll be ready for it, but this time we have now is limited. So I encourage you to enjoy what time we have left. When it comes to growing up, I suggest that I do what we know, or <laughs> when it comes to growing up, I suggest that we do what I know we do best, procrastinate, thank you. Thank you, Aiden. Did Grace really run over your mailbox? All right. <laughs> uh, the next item today is our Alumni Achievement Award winner. Each year we recognize an alumnus who has distinguished themselves after leaving Collinsville High School. Mr. Gary Picola, president of the Board of Education for Collinsville Unit School District 10 will present this award today. Please help me welcome Mr. Picola. Thank you, Mr. Toberman. Today I have the honor of representing the Board of Education, and we are very happy to be a part of this commencement ceremony. Graduation is definitely one of the highlights of the year for us. At this time, it is my privilege and pleasure to present the Alumni Achievement Award to Captain Brenda Holdner. Captain Holdner graduated from Collinsville High School in 1978 and enlisted in the U.S. Navy. In 1980, she received a Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps scholarship. In 1985, she graduated with honors from Oregon State University with a Bachelor of Science in Construction Engineering Management and was commissioned as an ensign in the U.S. Navy. In 1986, Captain Holdner was selected for Naval Aviation Program and in 1988 completed Naval Flight School training earning the wings of gold as a, heli as a naval helicopter pilot. Interestingly, she completed naval flight school training with her brother, Michael Holdner, who also is a 1978 CHS graduate. They were the first brother-sister team to complete naval flight school together. Captain Holdner graduated from the Naval War College in 2000 with a Master of Arts in National Security and Foreign Affairs and graduated from the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs in 2008 with her graduate certificate in Homeland Security. Captain Holdner was deployed multiple times on a variety of ships to the Mediterranean, Northern Atlantic, Red Sea, Persian Gulf, as well as Japan, Korea, Guam, and Australia in the Pacific Theater. Her assignments included combat helicopter pilot, and navigator on two aircraft carriers, 
the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, and the USS Kitty Hawk. In 2002, she became the commanding officer of Helicopter Combat Support Squadron 2, a helicopter squadron with 450 personnel and 14 H-3 helicopters. She then served as command center director for NORAD and U.S. NORTHCOM in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and in 2010 became the first female commander of the USS WASP, a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship with 1,100 sailors. Twice during her career, Captain Holner participated in congressional hearings. Her first appearance was related to the Navy's involvement in Operation Desert Storm. Second, she was part of a panel discussion regarding the combat exclusion law, which prohibited women from serving in combat positions. The law was eventually overturned. In 2013, she was inducted into the Oregon State University Academy of Distinguished Engineers. Captain Holdner's final duty assignment was as the Inspector General at U.S. Transcom at Scott Air Force Base. She retired from the U.S. Navy in 2014 after 31 years of active duty service. Her retirement gift to herself was to hike the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine, and she completed the entire 2,189.2 miles in 173 days. She also hiked 169 miles on the Florida Trail and 369 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. In addition to her military service, Captain Holder was an alternate on the East Territory Select Side for USA Rugby and a member of the Combined Services Select Side Women's Rugby Team. Captain Holder is currently living her dream, residing in Alaska, where she works as a hiking and whale watching guide. It is an honor for Collinsville High School to announce Captain Brenda Holdner as this year's Alumni Achievement Award recipient. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, you're welcome. Okay, thank you, Mr. Picola. That was uh, wonderful. So I'm up, like here, I gotta put this back. How are you guys doing today? Big day, huh? Yeah, all right. I, I'm, I'm not as technolo technologically savvy as you guys, so just give me a moment to find my place. Because I learned that you could uh, actually get presentation mode on the iPad. So, like, look, I feel really important. I'm gonna be like, do the teleprompter here. Okay, good morning. That was a wonderful introduction. Today, I am wondering who that person is. All that seems so long ago. And uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about soon. It's great to be here. Look at this sea of purple. Go Cayhawks! Right, woo! Yeah, and uh, congratulations to the graduating class of 2022, woo! Yes. I wanna know if anybody else had trouble finding something to wear today. Yeah, that was me. I've traded in all my uniforms, all my nice clothes for hiking boots, hiking pants, and rain gear. That's Alaska, and an occasional cape. I could figure, not figure out my favorite superhero, so I had to go as myself. <laughs> I, good thing I got a laugh, because I'm going to say you're a tough crowd. OK. <laughs> All right, so life takes funny turns. Being in Alaska is definitely a new chapter in my life. It's my happy place. Never would I have imagined that I would have ended up in the last frontier. That word, never, has been my nemesis. Never say never, and yet I still do. I have a long list of nevers that have been broken. For example, I left here and said I would never come back. Yet here I am, <laughs> speaking to you. The last time I was in Fletcher Gymnasium, 
I was sitting where you were. So this is my first time back and it's just, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so that was 44 years ago. Look, I have my class ring to prove it. It doesn't fit, but I have it. <laughs> okay, this universe has been laughing at me. As I was going through my wardrobe, trying to figure out something to wear, I pulled out my jewelry drawer to find something to match, and I came across my high school ring, my 1978 necklace, and my GAA, Girls Athletic Association necklace. They have traveled the world with me, and I cannot remember the last time I even looked at them. But I literally was looking for something to wear, and there they were. They popped out. I do not think that GAA even exists anymore. I googled it, and it came up with the Gaelic Athletic Association in Ireland. <laughs> okay. I had to search harder to find any references to the GAA relating to girls playing sports. So it has been 44 years since I have been here, but it has been 50 years since the Title IX passed in 1972. That changed the world of women in sports and many other things. Because of Title IX, Collinsville High School finally got a girls basketball team my senior year, and that made me happy, especially since they had gotten rid of women's field hockey the year before I came to high school, uh, which was very disappointing. Women only had four sports to choose from, tennis, volleyball, track and field, and then basketball my senior year. Now, I looked up on the website and there's 13 sports that girls can choose to play. That is awesome and a welcome change. I am not sure when GAA disbanded, but I am sure it was no longer needed for women athletes to come together and be recognized. The only thing constant is change, and I'm glad that finally changed. Now I need to know how many women athletes are there out there. Come on, raise your hands. Come on. All right, maybe you need to stand up. I can't even see hands. Okay, the women athletes stand up. All right, woo! Okay, as I was prepping for my journey here back to Collinsville, I heard that you actually had a female freshman go to state and place in wrestling. Now, how cool is that? Okay, so Dr. or Mr. Piccola said I was a hiking and whale watching guide, uh, but uh, my best tours are where everyone participates, and so this is a chance for the participatory portion of my speech. I can't just mention the girls, right? It's equal opportunity, so where are those male athletes? Please stand up. Okay, excellent. And uh, who, this is, this is a bunch of questions, so hopefully I'm gonna get everybody. So who of you are going to college, you know that, a college or a community college or a university? Please stand up. Wow, wow. Wow, that's amazing. That's great, okay? How about a trade school? A trade school, please stand up. Woo! Great, great. Okay, who has a job lined up already? Anybody, stand up. Oh, yes, okay. Woo! Yes. Okay, great, great. How many, okay, we talked about how many have joined the military. I think I heard 22. Please stand up. Okay, it looks like we have a, a military academy guy, and I heard that somebody's going to the Naval Academy. Where's that person? Go Navy! Woo! All right. Sorry, I could say go Army, but it's gotta be go Navy, beat Army. Sorry, I had to say that. Okay, now this is it. Who has no idea what you're gonna to do tomorrow? Stand up. <laughs> I knew there had to be, I knew there had to be a couple out there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna cover everybody with this one. Who wants me to hurry up and finish up quickly so you can get out of here? Okay, I, 
Did I miss anyone? Okay, great, great. Okay, I, I don't have very long, but back to saying never. I said I would never join the military. I had two brothers in junior ROTC, and I absolutely wanted nothing to do with the military. Never say never. Look where that got me. I felt like joining the military was the only option because I did not think I could afford to go to college. And so it's so exciting to see all of you that's going to college. I had no idea what I was going to do. I'm talking to those other guys that uh, stood up, okay? And uh, it turned out to be a very good decision for me. It gave me direction. It gave me opportunities. I only needed to ask and take them. The military does not work for anyone, or everyone, I mean, not anyone, everyone. It was a great place for me to figure out I did have some talent, I did have some smarts, and I had some common sense. It gave me the direction I needed as I tried to figure out what I wanted to do in life. Not only did I do, I excelled. The military gave me the confidence to say yes. Yes, I could do anything. And yes, you can do anything. I never, that, there's that word again, thought I would ever get a college degree. I certainly never, in my wildest dreams, thought I would be a helicopter pilot in the Navy. I, and travel the world, I should add that in there. I never thought I would become the captain of my own Navy ship. I never thought I'd be living in Alaska. It does not matter how smart you are, how cute you are, how talented you are, none of that matters if you have the heart it's only when your mind plays tricks on you to say, I'm not good enough. Do not listen. Believe in yourself. How bad do you want it? Is it in your heart and soul? After I retired from the Navy and was hiking the Appalachian Trail, all 2,192 miles of it, I could not believe my job was to hike to Maine. Many people would ask, was it hard? Sure, there were challenging times, but I was determined to finish it. It was mostly mental. How bad do you want it? The physical challenges are much easier to overcome, one foot in front of the other. Do not let fear drive you. Figure out what your passion is, what's important to you, and go for it. It does not matter if you want to be a plumber, a doctor, a construction worker, a pilot, a farmer, a software engineer, electrician, social worker, or a teacher. We need all of you. The future is you. Trust me. I make people happy when I take them on a tour and show them whales or bears or catch fish. I contribute to their happiness in that moment, and that makes me happy. But it is on you to determine the future of our world, our planet, our country. The world is changing. It is all up to you to make a difference. That little door will open, and it opens into a big room. Have the courage to walk through the door. Do not fear what others will think of you. Every small step you will take is a step forward. Find your passion and go change the world. Lastly, if you do not listen to anything else I say, put down your phones and listen to this. Years from now, when you are wondering what you are going to do now, think about what makes you happy. Really think about it. The opportunities are there. Do not be a naysayer. Figure out how to get there and go for it. Anything is possible. If this young, naive girl from Council High School can figure it out, you can too. One of you, 20, 30, 40 years from now, will be standing at this podium giving inspiration to the next graduating class of Council High School. Look out, it might be you. Go forth, prosper, show respect to others, and be kind to others. The universe will take care of you only if you let it, but you must take the first step. Namaste. Wow, thank you, Captain Holdner, and congratulations on being the Alumni Achievement Award recipient. Wow. 
Uh, we have some faculty and staff who will, will be retiring at the conclusion of uh, this school year. Their contributions to Collinsville High School are deeply appreciated. I know that these individuals have positively impacted many students throughout their respective careers here at CHS. They are Ms. Josephine Steiner and Mrs. Janet, uh, excuse me, Janet Lomax. Please give these individuals a round of applause for their service at Collinsville High School. Thank you. So, Dr. Skirtich and the Board of Education, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the class of 2022. They have completed their course of study prescribed by the state of Illinois, the Collinsville Unit School District 10 Board of Education, and the faculty of Collinsville High School. At this time, it is an honor for me to introduce the Collinsville School District's educational leader, Dr. Brad Skirtich. After three years, it's nice to see Fletcher Gym completely full. This is truly an honor to see this day. Family, friends, and proud Cayhawks, thank you for attending or watching online as we honor the Collinsville High School class of 2022. On behalf of our entire school district, we are excited to recognize the senior class. Educating our students takes a team effort between home, our schools, and our communities. I would like to thank our families, district employees, each of our communities, and the Board of Education. Collectively, your efforts have played a key role in the success of our graduates. Seniors, you're why we're here today. You have excelled throughout your high school careers. Your academic accomplishments, competitive fire, and commitment to service have brought great pride to your families, our Cahawk family, and our communities. As Aiden mentioned, your years at CHS have been full of unexpected twists and turns, but despite the challenges, your successes and accomplishments shine as bright as any previous graduating class, and your resilience during this time is something that will come in handy throughout your lives. Life will always have unexpected twists and turns for you personally and you professionally. When they occur, you will adapt, you will learn new skills, you'll have to display patience to make the best of difficult situations. Life will not always be easy, but the skills you've acquired in elementary school, middle school, and high school, academically and socially, will help you move on from this chapter and later throughout your life. Life is a journey. Keep that in mind. You cannot control each outcome or occurrence, but you can control your effort, the energy, and the time you invest to reach your goals and the impact on yourself, your family, and your peers. The best way to sum it up, work hard, but have fun along the way too. It does go by really fast. Graduation is a significant accomplishment and we are all proud of the work you put forth to be sitting before us today. However, each of you has a lot more to achieve and years from now, your list of accomplishments will be vast and graduation will be just one of many happenings in your life. Collectively, your successes will be a list of impre impressive milestones you've achieved because of your hard work, your individual passion for success, and your efforts to make a difference. We're excited about what the future holds for the Collinsville High School class of 2022. We look forward to seeing your many accomplishments in the years to come. Congratulations, and if there's one thing I want you to remember when you walk out of here today, once a Cayhawk, always a Cayhawk. Thank you, Dr. Skirtich. In just a moment, I'm going to reveal some, an accomplishment by this uh, group of graduate, graduates that I am extremely proud of and utterly amazed by. But before I do that, uh, there's sort of a mantra that I have that I have to address here. Um, I say it in the morning whenever I read the announcements. Anybody know what it is? See, it, it's, it's reassuring that someone listens to the announcements in the morning. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's win the day. You know, it's, it's something that um, I have kind of lived my, by for myself for a little while. When I became the principal here, I began using it as a way to kind of motivate others to accomplish something uh, every day and encourage them to focus and recognize on those positive uh, daily achievements. Um, even on a really bad day, there is always something that a person can consider a win. On some days, it's getting up or showing up. On other days, it may be something, uh, may be something much bigger, like graduating from high school. Uh, 
it forces me to focus on positive things and not let negative things uh, get me down. And I am a firm believer in the power of positive thinking. Sometimes it's difficult to find a win. Today is going to be easy to find a win. Uh, in a few moments, I'm going to get to c congratulate all of you individually. That will be my win for the day. I just wanted to mention this because it's the last time that I get to say it to all of you. Um, as you go on and accomplish all of the incredible things that you're going to accomplish, recognize that there will be struggles along the way. But if you focus on the positive things that are happening to you and around you, it will be much easier to overcome those struggles. So for the final time to the class of 2022, win the day. Oh. <laughs> As a group, this graduating class had a huge win recently. If you remember, I mentioned that uh, earlier, how I was both proud and amazed. Every year during, at graduation, we reveal the total amount of scholarship money that the graduates earned. The record was six, about $6 million. Does anybody want to guess? You want to take a shot? Eight million? Well, it was $7.2 million that this group earned in academic scholarship money. An all-time record. That is incredible. Congratulations to you as a group and all of you individuals. So at this time, it is my pleasure to invite Mr. Gary Piccola, President of the Board of Education, back to the podium to address the graduates on behalf of the Board of Education and Unit 10. Mr. Piccola. Thank you, Mr. Toberman. Well, today may be a highlight for the board. This is the culmination of 13 years of hard work on your part. Granted, the last couple of years had its challenges, but you made it. Graduation is a major milestone in each of your lives, and you should all be very proud of yourselves. Some years ago, I ran across a quote that I really like. It is from Jane Goodall. She's the renowned anthropologist, primatologist, and author. Her research has given her great insight into human behavior. She has said, every individual matters, every individual has a role to play, every individual makes a difference. You know, those 15 words are so true, and I firmly believe them. Each and every one of you are and will continue to be an important part of our society. You know, as I look out at all of you, I see future teachers, I see the future chefs, police officers, doctors, nurses, members of the military, technology professionals, and construction workers. No matter which career path you follow, it will take all of you using your individual talents and your abilities to keep our communities and our country strong. No matter what job you hold, do it to the best of your ability do it with pride and remember that each of you can make a difference. On behalf of the Board of Education, we hope that Unit 10 has given you a good foundation upon which to build the rest of your lives. We are very proud of you and everything that you have accomplished. We would like to congratulate you and your parents or guardians on a job well done and wish you all the best as you leave Collinsville High School. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pacola, and the entire Board of Education for your time and dedication on behalf of our students. It's time. <laughs> At this time, members of the School Board of Education, uh, we will present diplomas to the class of 2022. Please help me welcome Mr. Mark Shusky to the stage to introduce our graduates. All right, it is a distinct pleasure and honor to be able to read the names of our graduates today. If our first row could please rise and approach the stage with your card. And our first graduate of the class of 2022 
is Nathan M. Austin. Lucy Elizabeth Montgomery. Aiden James Kaufman. Megan Alyssa Hoberg. Javier Alcazar. Shafkia Alimi. Jacob E. Altenberger. Galilea Alvarado. Paula G. Alvarez. Dominic Richard Ammons. Briley Nicole Anderton. Noel E. Armstrong. John Ryan Esbrock. Jude Atwood. Andrew Jordan Austin. Esteban Fernando Avila. Courtney Jean Bear. McKenna Austin Bear. Osiris Banuelos Alfaro. Amanda Barajas. Selena Barboza. Benjamin Ellis Bauer. Jade O. Beavers. Ryan Beck. Nicholas Ryan Becker. Leah Isabel Beggi. Carrie Benitez. Cole Calvin Benson. Jack Calvin Benson. Abigail Lynn Bertubin. Andrew Reed Bicanic. Samaja Tankel Lachey Bickham. Kaylin Bowie. Luke Thomas Boston. Jada Michael Bowers. Chandler K. Braddock. Katie Anna May Brannon. Sophia Renee Brissenden.
Timothy Wendell Broadway II. Sean Jeremy L. Brown. Alex Buck. Lakota Rose Bunetta. Nathan Caleb Burkhart. Magaya Jean Bushking. Brooke Elizabeth Buxton. Jacqueline Calderon. Joseph Michael Campbell. Brianna Campos. Erica Campos Martinez. Shayla Cherie Cantor. Mackenzie E. Kapecki. Brianna Cardenas. Narielli Gonzalez Cardenas. Autumn M. Carr. Jennifer Carrillo. Ruth Castrajan. Aiden Castro Pacheco. Grace Castro. Madison Renee Covey. Kyle R. Chambers. Kindle L. Chapman. Annalise Isabel Clark. Emma Grace Clark. Matthew Scott Clark. Maya Grace Clark. Danielle Renee Coleman. Mason Samuel Collins. Connor William Cook. Brian Correa. Eileen G. Cortez. Jacqueline Cortez. Ruby Cortez Ortiz. William J. Crane the Fourth. Giovanna Brooke Cruz. Carlos Cruz Cortez. Gabriela Renee Cuba. Brock Stone Cunningham. Aaron Dabney.
Anna Marie Deluge. Samantha Dang. Trevor A. Daniel. Devin Rashad Davis. Javion Deshaun Davis. Taylor Jean Dawson. Yaelene De Avila. Miguel Jesus De Avila Diaz. Jocelyn Maria De La Paz. Fabian Del Rio. Marilee A. Del Rio. Amari Damara Jalen Dickerson. Autumn Caroline Dixon. Cameron B. Donaldson. Emma L. Donaldson. Jameson Connor Drake. Heather Rachel Ann Evans. Angel Alexander Fabian. Haley N. Fair. Anna Louise Falby. Jocelyn Nadine Farias. Micah Lamone Ferguson. Ariana Fernandez Galindo. Malika Finky. Abigail M. Fister. Emily Flores. Eric Flores. Evan Javon Flowers. Jalen Gregory Flowers. Lydia Catherine Fluss. Adam Lee Foley Jr. Connor Foley. Nicholas Clayton Fowler. Austin Eugene Greenlee. Deontay Devon Franklin. Shelby E. Franklin. Ian Hunter Freeman. Mallory R. Fry. Daniel T. Frisbee. 
Brian Fuentes Gutierrez. David Garcia. Devin Lee George. Joshua Joseph Giacoletto. Derek Lee Giedemann. Olivia Diane Gill. Cole T. Gildersleeve. Maisie Joe Gillen. Arlo Gabriel Gillespie. Zarisa Murray Gilliam. Aiden Ingram Gillis. Monica Jasmine Gomez. Angelica Aide Gonzalez. Dinice Gonzalez. Mirka Jeneth Gonzalez. Colin B. Goodwin. Xavier Grant. Lillian Dora Gray. America, Michelle Gregorio. William Macario Grebe. Brian Joseph Griffin. Esteban Miguel Guerrero. Wendy Gutierrez de Loera. Sadie Noel Goodrider. Mason Andrew Hagen. Molly Elizabeth Hallisey. Stephen Graham Hall. Nicholas W. Hamilton. Landon Clayton Harmon. Lorelei S. Harness. Corey Lavance Harris. Madison Christine Harris. Trevor Michael Hart. James Dean Hatcher. Dylan James Hatchet. Evan J. Heinz. Jackson Robert Charles Heller. Aiden George Hensler.
Lauren Ann Henze. Sarah M. Henze. Alyssa Murray Herman. Aaron Saul Hernandez. Aldo David Hernandez. Troy Carter Hester. Renaissance T. Hill Russell. Colin Jacob Haith. Shaylin Hoffman. Caden Hollerback. Jaden Holly. Dayton Horace. Carly J. Hauser. Lily L. Hoyt. Molina Rose Huckleberry. Gobani Witron. Abby Hunter. Hannah J. Leitz. Anna Renee Ledbetter. Oscar E. Hurtado. Alex Kathleen Jakich. Clyde D. Johnson. Dushalen Arman Johnson Jr. Mackenzie M. Johnson. Cheyenne Breeze Johnson. Tiara G. Jonas. Derek Lamont Jones. Destiny Jones. Charles Henry Joshua the Third. Camden Christopher Kane. Brody Keeney. Brent L. Ledbetter. Lauren K. Lee. Olivia Marie Shirley King. Alice Murray Knable. Samuel Kohler. Gavin Koontz. Derek Allen Kunkel. Alexa Malin Ladner. Olivia Renee Ladru.
Giselle Lamas. Rodolfo Lamas Cortez. Armando Kenneth Lara. Grace Marie Lanier. Isabel Lou Latinette. Maria Lavorchetti. Oscar Lozaro Anastasio. Isaac Andrew Lemansky. Jaden Lee Leonard. Jalen Lee Leonard. Rocco Light. Magdalena Natalie Lamon Balderas. Christian Stephen Little. Elmer Edgardo Lopez Jr. Emily Pacheco Lopez. Itzel Lopez. Layla Celeste Lopez. Leslie Lopez. Israel Lopez Lazaro. Alexander Jason Lorsbach. Davion Lotz. Nathan E. Maxura. <laughs> Cecilia Malotki. <laughs> Evelyn Marquez. <laughs> Carlos Enrique Martinez. Roxana Martinez. <laughs> Stephanie Lee Martinez. <laughs> Jacob Thomas McChristian. <laughs> Jada C. McGee. Joshua McGee, Jr. Carlos J. Medina. Furusan Mabel Medina Lainez. Dylan J. Meek. Savannah Brooke Mendoza. Ricky C. Merlack. James Allen Metcalf. Yuri P. Meyer. Giselle Meza. Adrian Tyrese Mitchell. 
Jaden T. Mobley. Demonte James Monaghan. Eric Montalvo. Lisbeth G. Montalvo. Lisette Guadalupe Montalvo. Tyler James Morgan. Jeremiah Keyshawn Mosby. Isaiah Darnell Mosley. Chevelle Tintil Nelson. Chelsea Patricia Knott. Lydia Joan Nugent. Gavin Null. Rain Ivy O'Bannon. Yaleen Ochoa Nino. Colin James Ogle. Malachi Christian Oliver. Cassidy Ostendorf. Isabella Atten. Jacob Atten. Joshua Atten. Madison Atten. Riley Atten. Tyler Atten. Haley Michelle Pace. Melody Pacewick. April Pacheco. Jada K. Parrish. Jackson D. Peril. Armija Malia Hollett. Serenity Faith Pain. Nile, beloved, peace. Santana, Daquan, Pelly. Gumaro, Perez. Dakota, Christopher, Petkus. Carmen Renee Hoff Petty. Madeline N. Petty. Logan Murray Fetzatisak. Aaron J. Phillips. Ava Murray Pierce. Alyssa M. Piper. Amelia Jewel Hulk.
George Daniel Ponce Hernandez. Elaine Michael Ponder. Kevin Alexander Prado Salgado. Destiny M. Prayer. Clara Elizabeth Presson. William J. Proventure. Gabriel Quiroz. Morgan Lynn Raider. Garen D. Rack. Tony Ramirez. Nayeli Ramos. Ryan L. Ratcliffe. Brooke Lynn Ray. Cassidy L. Ray. Adam D. Rice. Thomas Salvador Ripley. Leslie Rivera. Colin A. Roberts. Ashton Michael Robinson. Melanie Denise Robinson. Noah Carde Robinson. Keaton Nicholas Rodriguez. Krista E. Rodriguez Vega. Catherine Danielle Reck. Michaela Roland. Andrew Jacob Roseman. Yair Romero. Manuel Romo. Luke Austin Ranji. Trinity Grace Roth. Sierra Ruckel. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Ruger. <laughs> Jada A. Russell. <laughs> Curtis Ryan Schaefer. Sarah J. Shibley. Alexis Neve Shellhart. Brenna K. Schmidt. Mackenzie K. Schulman. Rose Scott. 
Imani Marche Scruggs. Joshua Ryan Scrum. Jake Sebasta. Kai Xavier Pace Serrano. Brenna Riley Shea. Destiny F. Shea. Sydney Rose Shimchik. Matthew Shane Seifert. Rian Jean Tangsley. Trinity Lynn Simmons. Thomas Sitton. Alyssa A. Smith. Chance Carpus Smith. Tristan Smith. Sydney Violet Summer. Madison C. Sorensen. Pablo Soto Chirez. Kirsten B. Sewell. Ruben Cephas Spells. Clifton Earl Spryby the Fourth. Emma Shea Stouthammer. Tremont Stevens. Austin Eric Stewart. Cassidy Jade Stewart. Alexis F. Steeritz. Cassandra E. Sterling. Sierra Elizabeth Story. Brian Joseph Suarez. Nadia A. Swagger. Damian DeAndre Swagger. Travion Carnell Swagger. Seth Anthony Tamborello. Stephen Michael Hare. Ethan Thomas Tarantella. Lamont Dantes Eugene Terrell Jr. Bailey K. Tervier. <laughs> K. 
Christopher Frank Tillman. Nevin William Temke. Kayla Thomas. Madison Pearl Tillman. Daniel Lee Timmons. Amaria Tiche Thomas. Jennifer Torres. Stephanie Torres. Sitsiki Torres. Yasinia Torres. Mason O'Neill Torti. Anakin Liam Trexler. Jordan Renee Trice. Nakaya Abriel Triplet. Kim Trong. Therese M. Toon. Samuel T. Usselton. Preston Michael Vadis. Lillian H. Valina. Gracie M. Van Fossen. Anibal Varela. Melanie Varela. Jose Angel Varela Ortiz. Cameron R. Varner. Vicente Moises Vasquez. Seth Michael Verstraight. Elena L. Vickery. Denai Montserrat Via Senor. Denise Lily Wenya. Miguel De Villegas de Santiago. Marcus Bradley Vincent. Christian T. Velosky. Caitlin Nicole Walker. Zoe Marie Ward. Cody Jean Watts. Kaylee Nadine Weaver. Danielle Joy Webb. Nate.
Nathan Thomas Weil. Jacob Wheeler. Owen Taylor Wilkerson. Kamisha L. Williams. Tatum Louise Williams. Doug Dagner. Andrew R. Wilson. Emily Woodley. Hayden Woolley. Mackenzie L. Young. Jacob Alexander Zagorski. Joshua Anthony Zagorski. Colleen Charlotte Zinke. Alexandra Lynn Ziprich. I am the class of 2022. We're almost there, but before we go, I am pleased to once again introduce Megan Holberg, daughter of Tiffany and Tyler Holberg. She will provide closing remarks. Please welcome Megan to the stage. I stand on this stage today completely grateful for the opportunity to address you all. When I sat down to write this speech, I tried to find wise words to not only close the ceremony, but to close our time together as a class. I tried to find wise words that would inspire greatness and encourage you to never look back as you walk out these doors for the very last time, and words to stick with you forever, always pushing you to do everything you are capable of. However, those words never came. The truth is, I am not wise. I am 18 years old. I know no more than any graduate in this room. But I'm going to tell you what I have learned. When I walked into Collinsville High School for the very first time four years ago, there were things I was convinced I couldn't do, no matter how much I wanted to or how hard I tried. I was so convinced of the things I could not do that I created a mental list of achievements in high school. I so badly desired but never thought could become reality. At the end of that year, I watched my older sister's commencement ceremony. That day, another item was added to the list of things I thought I couldn't do, speak at my own graduation. I may not have wisdom, but I have learned that tenacity and determination are the driving forces behind completing even the most difficult tasks, forces that can only be undermined by self-doubt. I completed that list of cans I created four years ago, but I did not do so by luck. I made a choice to prove myself wrong, to show myself that there was no accomplishment, no moment that could not be mine if I was willing to fight for it. I don't suggest that any of you make a list of things you can't do. Instead, make a list of things you want to do. Completing my list made me believe that the word impossible does not exist. There is no power in this world that can confine you more than the walls you build for yourself. The potential of every person in this room knows no limitations. Sitting here, we all have plans for the future, to go to college, trade school, the workforce, the military. As you achieve these plans, I hope you accomplish everything you've dreamed of. But more than that, I hope you accomplish the things you never dreamed of. Unveil the power you never believed you had, 
and achieve everything you never imagined you could. Our high school journey is over. Diplomas rest in our hands, and tassels lie on the left sides of our cap. A new journey is beginning, and as Elle Woods once said, it is with passion, courage of conviction, and a strong sense of self that we take our next steps into the world, remembering that first impressions are not always correct. You must always have faith in people, and most importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We did it. Thank you, Megan. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of Collinsville High School graduating class of 2022. You can throw your hat. Ms. Fisher, Mr. Key, would you please lead our faculty out? Well, hold on, guys. Hold on. Grab your hats, but we just got to clear the aisle. Your hats will be there.